Today I got two boxes. I'm very, very excited about both of these boxes. It's two things I just got in, and both of these are pretty, like, pretty hyped up, pretty limited Funko Pops released over the past, like, week or two that the majority of people didn't get. And I got them with a little bit of help. So, uh, let's get into these bad boys. How about it? As always, let me say, take one second, go below, hit that subscribe button, because you know, you wanna see some more of the fuck bad guy. Don't miss my videos. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Right now, we have one box right here from over 9,000. Right now, you're like, your mind's blowing right now just hearing that. This is from the original Shock Drop that Christopher, uh, I'm not even sure how you say his last name, Sabat, Sabat, S-A-B-A-T. I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan, I don't know. Um, from his original drop on Twitter, like from several weeks ago. Um, it took that long for me to get it in. I just got it in. They just did the worldwide release of this pop um, Wednesday, like a couple days ago. And this is from the original Shock Drop on Twitter. The other package I got is from Gemini Collectibles. Everybody knows what pop exclusive has been coming out with Gemini Collectibles the past couple weeks that has collectors just furious because they can't get it. I got them, and this box is rather large, so you know there's more than one in here. So let's just let's just start cracking these bad boys. How about it? But before I start this, I gotta give out a huge shout out. I did have some help getting these though. I recently joined a group called the International House of Funko. It is a really, it's a pretty cool group. They help out not just like reseller flippers like myself, they help out anybody in the Funko community. They help out collectors and they help out flippers. It's just pretty much a group that you can join. And if you want to get limited pops, they'll help you. Notifying you the second that things go live, They'll help you with limited drops. Direct links to their Twitter page below in the description box, check them out. There are people in this group from all over the world, from collectors to flippers, and I'm very, very happy with the services. Without them, I would not have got these, no joke. No joke. So um, anyway, first box, Gemini Collectibles. This is the pop that I know everybody is irate about right now because it's being released in such extremely small waves of 200 every small like restock. But the very first time they dropped this, you could buy two. And I was actually, I was sitting at my chiropractor while my chiropractor was moving around my nerves in my arm trying to fix my nerve damage from my surgery and my phone went off with the International House of Funko whenever they sent out the monitor alert, the Gemini collectibles, that the page, like the actual, the, the actual website page went live for this Funko. So I'm sitting there waiting to see the doctor and my phone, it went off and said, hey, this pop is live, go buy it. So I went on went to the International House of Funko Discord, clicked on it, it took me straight to the, to the Gemini page. I, back then, you could put two of these into your car. I put two into your car. I hit check out with PayPal, bought two. It was super easy. Ever since that first drop, it's been almost impossible to get this. So, uh, I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start cracking this thing now. So, here we go. This thing is filled with peanuts. First one in the box. Yes, you see it. It is the Battle Armor Skeletor, the Metallic Gemini Exclusive. Numero Uno. And like I said, the original drop they let you purchase two of them. Yes, you could buy two in one transaction. Now it is a limit of one. 
but originally you could get two. So I got lucky. So honestly, if it wasn't for the International House of Funko, I would not have gotten these because I would have no idea that these went live. And um, they went live and they sold out pretty much, in, I would say immediately, but within like a minute or so they were gone. But with that instant notification, I had enough time to go in, add to the cart, hit check out with PayPal, boom, got them, done, easy. And now I can resell them and make, you know, pretty good profit on them. First drop. So there's no receipt in this box. No, but anyway, that's that. First one. Second box. Over 9,000. So, same thing. International House of Funko. Uh, they had monitors in place because they all knew that eventually that this was going to drop. And one day, it just magically did a... Uh, just a magical drop exclusively on Twitter and um, Chris Christopher Sabat, whatever his name is, Sabat Sabat, tweeted out on his Twitter page that this pop has gone live, unsigned and signed versions, and the International House of Funko, they notified all the members of the Discord group, hey, this pop is live, go get it right now. Here's the password to the website that Christopher tweeted out onto his Twitter page. Logged onto my phone. I was thinking I was actually, I think I was driving during that time. So I pulled over, logged onto my uh, International House of Funko, the, the Discord app, went to the web page, used the password that it said, logged on, put it into my cart, went through PayPal, and I got the autographed version of the Majin Vegeta. I'm pretty sure I said that right. I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan. I've never seen the cartoon in my life. So forgive me if I said that wrong, but Majin, Majin, Vegeta? I don't know. So I'm just a reseller flipper. I don't know. So, but I actually plan to hold on to this thing for a while just because, um, I don't know. Most people struck out on it. So there's no really downside to hold on to this thing. And uh, honestly, low key, I am an autograph collector. So this is an autographed like memorabilia item. So should I actually keep this as part of my autograph collection? I don't know. I actually might. I don't know. Should I keep this Funko Pop? I'm like 50-50 on it because I am a huge autograph collector. So I'm gonna research uh, like the guy who signed this and learn a little, little bit more about Christopher and see what he's actually done, the kind of work that he's done. And I'll make a decision if I'm gonna sell this or keep this, but uh, kind of cool. So huge shout out to the International House of Funko. With, honestly, without that group, without that discord, without that help, I would not have got these three pops. Would not have happened. Because without the notification from that group, would have never have known that these went live. Would have no idea. So, honestly, I'm telling the legit truth. So, feel free. Uh, I'll, I'll leave direct links below to their Twitter page. Check them out. Um, the owner of the group, he's really cool. Ask him questions. Um, like I said, this group is a worldwide group. Honestly, all I'm doing, I'm just letting you know, as a reseller, what I did to help me get some like limited pops. And the group is actually full of collectors too. There's dozens and dozens of collectors who are in the group just to get their one pop also. So it's not just flippers in the group. The group is also full of collectors. And actually, yes, in the group, flippers and collectors, we get along just fine because we're all in there for one purpose, to get the Funko Pop, some to flip, and some to keep. So, it's a beautiful thing. We all get along. Gemini Collectibles are randomly restocking this pop very, very, uh, in small numbers. Not very much. So, um, if you're interested, 
Good luck trying to get one of these things. They're making it so difficult to get one of these. If, if you're a collector, honestly, I feel sorry for you. Blame Jim Knight Collectibles. They're making this release rough on collectors. They're doing it really, really bad. So, blame them, honestly. They just need to do the drop. Just drop them, be done with it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel below. Hit the subscribe button. Feel free to comment. Blast me if you want because yes, I am a reseller. But, low key, I might actually keep this autographed Funko Pop. Because I am an autograph collector. And this is autographed. And I got it for retail. So, I actually might keep this. Does that make me a collector? It makes me an autograph collector. Does it make me a Funko Pop collector? I hope not. Because I'm a flipper. I'm not a collector. I'm a flipper. But anyway, end of story. Funko bad guy, I'm out. <laughs>